for my May plans. So these are all the plans that I have in May, which is in conjunction with Me Made May. So I always feel like the plans that I have in May are always a little bit different because I do set sewing specific goals. I really try and hold myself accountable in May and it's just a little bit more structured than the other months where I'm just like, if I get to it, I get to it. If I don't, if I don't. In May, your girl's on a mission. So I'm gonna be talking to you about those specific goals throughout the video. The first thing that I wanna address though is Sew Together 21, um, the sewing challenge I'm doing on Instagram. The pattern that was chosen this month is the Love Notions Sunday Romper. Super cute little knit romper you pull on. There's also a dress version. There are multiple sleeve options, length options for the um, dress. And it just so happens that Love Notions is doing a huge sale. They only do these like two or three times a year, but they're like every single pattern they have is 40% off. I am wearing the Love Notions Cadence dress. I know you can't really tell, but it is a dress. I've also made the top. This is what I did the sew along for, um, for Sew Expo this year. I will be allowed to publish that on the channel at the end of May. So if it's something that you know you wanna do, maybe June, July, it's a great little summer option. Obviously there's a sleeveless version. There's a version that doesn't have the little notch neckline. Um, you can do it in a top length, tunic length, and dress length, or maybe even maxi length. I, there's a lot of options. Um, so if that's something you're interested in making, um, and you want the sew along that I did for Sew Expo to help you along with it, um, go ahead and grab it now while it's 40% off. Same thing with the Sunday romper. If you want to participate in the sewing challenge on Instagram this month, go ahead and grab your Sunday romper this week. Um, and then you'll have like the rest of the month to sew it. They have so many other great patterns. I also recently got their basic tee. I got the Vivace Dolman top. I got the Melody Wrap dress. They just have so many great patterns that at 40% off, you really, I mean, you just need to be stocking up. The other thing that I really love about Love Notions and after hearing back from you guys over the months throughout these First Impression Friday videos is that they are probably one of the most, for sure, if not the most inclusive pattern companies that I've ever seen. So they offer all their patterns come in sizes extra small to 5X. So that's a 33 inch to 59 and a half inch bust. And then you have a 35 and a half inch hip up to a 61 and a half inch hip. Very, very size inclusive. And then on top of that, all of their patterns that include a bodice will have a standard bust and a full bust. Pattern pieces already drafted, so you don't have to do the full or small bust adjustment unless you're obviously the outlier of those categories. Like if you have a super small bust and you're not like a B cup, um, you would have to obviously do a small bust adjustment on your standard bust pattern, but they do give you two categories, two jumping off points. So the adjustment is a lot less extreme, which I absolutely love. Okay, I mentioned that I have a sew along for the um, Love Notions Cadence that I did, but they also have an extensive, extensive library of sew alongs. Not every single one of their patterns has a sew along, but most of them do. They also have a really great blog with tons of hacks and help with sizing and pattern adjustments. They also just started doing these virtual workshops, which is really cool. It's like a live event where you sew a chosen, a garment that they have chosen from start to finish with them, with the women who um, design the patterns and um, know them inside and out. I think they're doing the Melody Dolman uh, spring, summertime. So if you like that kind of small group help, be sure to follow them on Instagram, sign up for their newsletter, all of that kind of stuff so that um, you can be one of the first to know because those things do sell out. So be sure to check out the Love Notions mega sale. It um, The 40% the off is automatically applied. You don't need a coupon code. I have a link in the description box. 
and it expires on the 10th, on May 10th, 2021. So be sure to go over there, do all your shopping, get the Sunday Ropper, participate in the challenge, get the Love Notions Cadence so you can do the sew along whenever it goes live on my channel in a few weeks. Um, and you'll be seeing a lot more of their patterns kind of in my plans rotation. So for the Sunday Romper, speaking of which, I have pulled three fabrics from my stash. Again, for the Sew Together Challenge, I really, 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 really try very hard to pull from my stash. I have an extensive stash, as you can see. Um, so pulling from the stash is it, it shouldn't be that hard. Um, but so I have three options. One is a um, double brush poly. I don't love a double brush poly in the summer. Um, it's just kind of clingy. It's polyester. It's not very breathable. But I was thinking maybe I could make the dress version out of this. And that would be like a good transitional, like when it's not 100 degrees, but it's consistently like 80, 85, maybe like a little dress like this. And plus it's kind of like fall colors too. So maybe it would extend into fall as well, like a little white jean jacket in the springtime, blue jean jacket in the fall, and then I'll be able to wear it two seasons. That's what I was thinking for this. And then for the romper version that I absolutely want to make, I have the mid-weight cotton jersey from Stylemaker Fabrics. I showed you guys this in the swatch video. It's a great weight. Um, it's, it's just the color that I'm not absolutely obsessed with for making it right now. Um, I think that if I held on to this and made the romper version, but a longer leg line, like a, I don't know, a calf length or something, I would wear it a lot more in the fall. So that's where I'm kind of stuck on this one. And then this is something that I've got. I don't even know where I got it from, to be honest. I love the print. I think I got it in New York City somewhere. My concern with this one, I love the print. And all over print for a romper is totally something I'm into. But it's a little bit on the thin side. Just a little bit. So I'm concerned that covering the bum... I just want to make sure that I don't feel like I'm in pajamas or like you know, like something too delicate. If it's like that, then I tend to feel a little bit uncomfortable and like naked. Um, so this is my top contender for the romper right now. Um, these are the knit fabrics that would fit into that category. They're like the mid weight, like this is lightweight, like drapey drapey stuff, although you can't even see it. And then this kind of goes into like lightweight um, French terries and stuff. So it's really just this category. As you can see, I don't have a ton of options. So if I can't convince myself that this will work, I'm gonna open it up, drape it around my body, you know, that kind of stuff, then I might actually have to go shopping. And what I probably will do is get a midweight cotton from Stomacher Fabrics in a springier color. And it'll be solid, um, which I think is really cute jumping off point for styling options. So those are my plans for the Sunday Romper, the Sew Together 21 Challenge. The other thing that I've talked to you guys about before that I'm actually going to be cutting up and working on this month, you'll see the actual reveal this month, is my second quarter sew along. So we're sewed together. There's not a sew along. It's just everybody sewing the same pattern at the same time. This is an actual sew along step by step. We are making New Look 6651. I have the um, really beautiful linen blend in the color Ocean from Stylemaker Fabrics. All of this will be linked in the description box. I have episode zero of the Sew Along, which talks about picking a size, any pattern adjustments that I am going to make, the pattern itself, you know, anything you need to know about that, the notions that you need. I'll be discussing the fabric that I'm using yada, 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 all of that, all the pre-sewing stuff will be live this week. So be on the lookout for that if you are wanting more information about that make. And then the rest of my plans for April are those kind of like goals that I have for Me Made May. One of them, I have this rack of clothes, literally a rack. There's probably like 20 things on there that I have dubbed my fix it or nix it pile. Stuff that I've gotten from Goodwill that I had grand plans for refashioning and all of that, either do the refashion or give it back to Goodwill. <laughs> um, and then there's a bunch of things that like need a hook and eye, need a label, need a hem, need a sleeve. So I've either got to finish those projects or cut them up into something else or 
change. I don't know what, but it's a fix it or nix it plan. Um, and then I told you guys in my makes video that I just like was so distracted all of April where I started projects and didn't finish them. So in this bin, I've got this really pretty rayon chalet. This is going to be a, um, a rad patterns seaside culotte same culottes that i wore for the stop maker fabric spring style tour but i also made up a matching top um this view see here so i'll have like a mix and match set where i can wear them together and it looks like a romper or i can wear them separately um this was the pattern that i was working on my ditto form when I did that um, video on fitting last week. So we'll be using the same pattern to talk about arm size here shortly. So be on the lookout for that as well. And then I'll be able to show you my finished version of that. This is the fabric that I'm going to use for Honey's dress this month. So Honey's actually getting spayed on Thursday. Um, really good news. We've been holding off because her kidney values were coming back high and they can't put her under anesthesia if her kidney is not cleansing out her body like it's supposed to. So for a week, week and a half, girlfriend's gonna be out of commission. So I thought it'd be really nice to have her a nice cute little dress for whenever she comes out of recovery. Um, and then I'm also making a um, Helen's Closet, oh shoot, is it Addison? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Ashton, the, the little crop top sleeveless that she has out of the same fabric that I used for the pocket skirt last month. So again, I'll have a matching set, but also separates. Um, so that's what I have in here. Then last month, I also kind of started working on the pattern adjustments and fit and all of that for McCall's, Bowery McCall's, McCall's 8154. And that fabric is this really pretty um, chambray that has a floral print on it. So that will get made. We also have, <laughs> I told you I was all over the place. We also have Mallory McCall's M8180, cute little top. I have an eyelet with, I'm sorry, I have an embroidered cotton with an eyelet trim for view A. So that will get done. Again, I just did the kind of like pattern cutting and like all the adjustments that I need for that. And then this one is fully cut out, just needs to be sewn. This is Maybell McCall's M8107. I did view B right there. And the fabric for this is another one of those Joanne Juvenile prints. <laughs> this one's like tie dye and animal print at the same time. So it might be a little cray. We'll have to wait and see how that one comes out. But that those are my plans. I will be trying to crank out as many videos as I possibly can this month regarding fix it or nix it. I wanna show you guys those refashions. I wanna show you kind of what I'm doing. Um, obviously all of these makes as they get finished will get added to the Me Made May. Um, I'm sorry, the Me Made Mondays. Um, so you'll see those, you know, uh, project reveals and pattern reviews and all of that kind of stuff as usual. And then just filling in the blanks with, you know, everything else, all my normal content, First Impression Fridays and all of that. So the Sew Along for the New Look Pattern launches on the 18th, episode one. Look out for episode zero later this week. Go shop at Love Notions. Get your patterns for 40% off. You really can't go wrong with any of their designs. Again, no coupon code, automatically applied. And that's gonna do it for me today. Um, I wanna know what you guys are working on. Let me know if you pick up the Sunday Romper for Sew Together 21. And if you've got your pattern for the Sew Along, a lot going on. But that's gonna do it for me today. I will see you all very soon.